Hello from Sumbawa, the island from West Nusa Tenggara, or in Bahasa is Nusa Tenggara Barat. And I'm here to explore what the island has to offer. And where I'm standing right now is in front of the Royal Palace Heritage Building of Sumbawa. Feels nobles already, right? Let's check uh, what the island has to offer. Sumbawa Island is known for its beauty ranging from the majestic Dalam Kota Palace with blue ocean at the beach. The architecture of the palace makes me feel as if I travel to the past and wonders how Sultan in Sumbawa lived during the old days. This historical building was built in 1885 by Sultan Jalaluddin Muhammad Shah III. He was the 16th Sultan in Sumbawa dynasty. That explains how magnificent the structure of the building. I mean, look at the staircase. It's massive! Let's see on what this island has to offer, but first, let's grab some lunch. One of the main characteristics of Sumbawa is their food, and the best food for Sumbawa is sepat singang and also sate sirabage. And I've done some research before, and it says that this place is to be one of the best ones. I decided to visit one of the recommended restaurants in Sumbawa which is famous for its traditional food and cooking method. It is called Warung Bumini. It is located in Batu Tamin, Kenyaring, 20 minutes away from the city. In this restaurant, the kitchen used traditional cooking tools such as a fireplace that used coil and wood. Almost all ingredients came from the restaurant as well which adds the authenticity of its cuisines. Welcome to the heaven of Sumbawa culinary. And we have all the foods here from the sate sirabage, sepat the fish, and also singang. I'm so hungry, I cannot wait to taste this. The first dish that I'm eating is sirabage sate, a traditional skewer made from marinated beef with tamarind and salt. The name sira means salt, and bage means sour from the tamarind. <laughs> Mm. The taste of the uh, sate or skewers is very delicious. It, uh, it's only simple actually. Only needs salt and also tamarind. So they make this um, together, they mix it with their hand and after that, they put it on the, uh, the beef itself. So good. The other dish that I'm really curious to try is this bowl and it looks really colorful and refreshing. Mm. So this one that I just ate is called sapat. So sapat itself consists of the uh, cucumber, eggplant, that have been uh, grilled eggplant and put inside the bowl over here uh, with water and also there's tomato and chili but I have to warn you this uh, this food is quite spicy I just uh, took like a few bites and also I just took a few spoon of it but it really gets to my throat but it's, overall it's very very good very delicious so this one is called singang so it's a yellow curry uh, soup fish, which it's uh, mixed with the lots of chilies, uh, as you can see here. And it tastes so good. It's like there's um, sourness inside of the soup, and also there's a, a little bit of sweet, but yeah, the spice is very dominated. So all the foods here, there's nothing like uh, without spicy. So this is a very quite spicy food for me. And yeah, this is so good. And now, let's move on to the beautiful sunset at Ailemak Beach. Last but not least is the beach. Sumbawa Island is rich with the beach and also the sea. So located in north of Sumbawa, 
this Ai Lemak Beach is one of the top destinations to get the best spot for sunset. Look how mesmerizing it is. Ai Lemak Beach is located in northern coast of Sumbawa Island. This place is famous for the sunset and offers a stunning panorama view of white sand, green hills, and rows of coconut trees. You will need a 20-minute drive from the city to reach the location. Raskianasto, Erwin Widiastama for Sea Today.